What is going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what we're going to do is we're going to check out Azure Container Apps. Now, what is Azure Container Apps? Well, it's kind of like serverless Kubernetes in a sense. And I want to just do a shout out here to Richard Hooper, AKA Pixel Bots over on Twitter and a bunch of other places. Definitely check this guy out if you're interested in everything Azure related, especially AKS. He brought this to my attention. Heard about it a little bit from McKnight, but I never really played around with Azure Container Apps all that much, but he did bring it up to me. So Richard, thank you so much. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to get container apps up and running. So first things first, in the search bar here, I'm gonna type in container apps, and then I'm gonna click on this. Now, do keep in mind that container apps, like I said, it's essentially like serverless Kubernetes in a sense. You don't have to worry about spinning up a Kubernetes cluster. You don't have to worry about managing control nodes, worker nodes, etc. All you have to do is think about the code and the application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click create here. I'm going to choose a resource group. And then I'm going to give my container a name. I'm going to call it Go Web one And as you may have guessed, this is a Go Web app application. So in the container app environment, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one for my log analytics workspace. I'm just going to call this go web app region East us is fine. And then I'm going to go to app settings. Now here's where things get interesting. You have a few options. You can either a use a quick start image or you can use your own. So let's go ahead and give this a name here. Go web API is fine. And then you have two options for the image source, either ACR or Azure Container Registry or Docker Hub. Now, notice here how I do have an application up in my public repo here. You can go ahead and you can snag this if you'd like. This is where I've pushed my Go Web app. So if I go back here, I'm going to choose Docker Hub. It's under public. And then the image tag, it's going to be admin turned DevOps slash Go Web on the latest tag. Now if I go here really quick, yep, go web, go web, perfect. And for the command override, we don't need to put anything in here because when the Docker image was built, I made sure that I put in a specific entry point so the application would get spun up right away and start right away once the Docker image comes up. So CPU and memory, depending on the size of the application, this is gonna vary. I'm just gonna do the smallest bit at this point. And here is where if you have a web app, you need an ingress controller. So it's actually gonna install ingress for you inside of this container app environment if you click enable here. Now you have two options. You can either limit to container apps environment or accept traffic from anywhere. Now if this is a public facing application, choose accepting traffic from anywhere. If you need this container app to talk to or communicate with other container apps inside of the same environment, just choose limited. This essentially means, you know, it's private to the world, but it's public to the container apps environment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose accept traffic from anywhere because this is a web app and my target port is 8080 because that's what the application or the Docker image is expecting. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click review and create. I'll click create here and then we'll go ahead and we'll wait for this to finish up and it'll only take a few minutes or so. And as we can see, our container app is ready to go. So let's go ahead and click on go to resource. And then as you can see, you have an application URL here. Now, if we didn't choose the ingress controller, we would not have this application URL. So let's go ahead and click on it. And boom, as we can see, our application is officially up and running. And that's how you can get started using container apps today. Thank you so much for watching.